preaching. I mean, that's what in the Bible said. For the things that he that has God, done, to God be the glory. Pastor in Hallelujah. Turn. Clap your hands yeah. in this place this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you come to give God some praise this morning? Hallelujah. Did you come to seek his face this morning? Did you come to give back to him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands in this place today. Somebody is grateful because they made it to the house of God one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're coming to give God back what he's been giving to us all week long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands in this place. Don't let it die down. God's been good to us. He's been merciful to us. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Hallelujah. The scripture says, oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Are you thankful today? Are you grateful today? Hallelujah. And make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. Is he not great? Hallelujah. And in his hands are the deep places of the earth. Hallelujah. Oh, come and let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before for the Lord our maker for he is God in the name of Jesus and we are of the people of his pasture hallelujah hallelujah we thank you for those who are watching on YouTube Facebook live thank you that you love us as your church your place of worship is so glad to see everybody in the house of God this week hallelujah clap your hands Hallelujah. You are blessed to be here. Hallelujah. We don't take that for granted. We don't take for granted the life that God breathes into us. We don't take for granted getting in our cars and driving here safely. Don't take that for granted because God does not have to do it. He does not have to do it for you. Hallelujah. There were several, several, several car accidents and a lot of people did not make it. Somebody's fighting right now for their life, but you are here. Hallelujah. You are here. Hallelujah. And we give God glory for that. So today is deemed our Youth and Young Adult Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. They could be anywhere else, but they chose to come to the house of the Lord and worship him. Amen. And that deserves a praise all by itself. So now we will have scripture and prayer by Casey and Jabriah. Amen. Put your hands together as they come. please bow our head. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this week, God. Thank you for the youth. Thank you for all the youth that showed up. Thank you for the youth that was going to show up but couldn't make it. Thank you for everybody in this church. Let us have a great youth Sunday. Let something, let us hear something today that will help us this week, God. Amen. Hallelujah in this church. Come on, say hallelujah in this church. I need you to respond to me. This is praise and worship. We're going to sing a song that says, Oh Lord. Repeat after me. Say, Oh Lord. Oh, we, worship we worship and magnify, and magnify your name. Come on and put your hands together and stand up with us. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, we worship and adore your name. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, we worship. Sing with us. 
Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, we worship and adore your name. I need to lift the hands to the Lord. Say, oh Lord.
Good morning. If we have any visitors, may you please stand to receive our welcome. We welcome you to New Revelation. We hope you have a great time at this service and hope that every song will bless your heart. Again, we welcome you to this church. Thank you, you may be seated. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's stand to our feet all over the building as we sing our congregational hymn. Thank you, Lord. Come on, with a grateful heart, let's sing. Just lift those hands, everybody. Thank you, Lord. We say thank, thank you. want to thank come on sing it a little louder if he's been good to you say lord you've been so good lord you Oh, 
Lord, you've been So I want to pause and say I just want to bless you One last time, lift your hands Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank. With a great voice, say, I just want to thank. Amen. You can keep on thanking them. You need to keep on thanking them. You don't have to stop because the music stops. You can thank them for your health this morning. You can thank them for your strength this morning. You can thank them for the activities of your limbs this morning. You can thank them for our young people on this morning. Oh, we need to encourage our young people in here. Oh, y'all not understanding what I'm saying. I see some of y'all sitting down. I say we need to encourage our young people in here. Because out there, Pookie can't wait to get his hands on them. Hallelujah. Pookie going to show up a good time. But we know that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. Are we celebrating our young people? I don't know about you, but I prepared myself this entire week just to go before the Lord and pray. Oh, you need to give God some praise for your young people. These are young adults. These are you. I call the young people. Young people, if you got some hands, you better clap your hands for Jesus. You better know that God is able to do anything. Just sing to me. Let him use you this morning. Let the Lord use you this morning, young people. For greater is he. Oh, you got a friend that ain't like-minded. You got a brother that's in trouble. You got a father that may not be around. But thank God for Jesus. He said, I'll be a friend with your friend. I'll be a father with your mother. I'm sorry, I may get in trouble. I'm known for getting in trouble. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he's done for me. Pastor, you just give me one more second. I know I'm supposed to be praying, but it's too dry up in here. I come to serve a true and living God. He didn't roll us in here this morning on our back. Oh, y'all can catch that later on. But the Bible says, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. I don't want no rocks crying out for me, Jesus. Oh, y'all must have missed the Sunday school lesson. Oh, it's a redemption for God's people. And if you are a child of God, you just need to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Young people, it's okay to thank them for your mother. It's okay to thank them for your stepdad. Hallelujah. It's okay to thank them for the activities of your people. It's okay to thank them that you're not on a t-shirt. I'll let some of that y'all that kept that when they get home. Let them use it. I feel an anointing in this place. We come to celebrate our young people. Hey, listen. We still in spiritual warfare. And I heard a songwriter say that this means war. So devil, you can't have my young people. You can't have their increase. You can't have their mind. You are. This means 
war. The devil has declared war for my young people. Y'all better give God some praise in this place. It's all right. Praise him. Praise him. Come on. Come on and give God some praise. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. There's deliverance at the altar right now. There's healing. If you need a breakthrough, you better run. Don't walk up here, run. Run while the spirit is high. Come on and praise on. him. Come on, young people say, I got Praise him. him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noon day. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Praise him with the sun. You don't want to miss this. God is doing some things here. God is shaking some things up. He's stirring up the gift. Hallelujah. 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 I prepare myself throughout the week just to come before the presence of God. And I was asking the Lord what to pray about. I don't just get up here for any shape, form, or fashion. When I was in the world, I was the best at what I did. I didn't try to act a fool. I act a fool. Y'all know ludicrous how you say it, act a fool. And, and the young people are so amazing on this morning while they was giving a Sunday school review. They said that we're all in this together. And I thought of DJ Khaled when he say, all I do is win. Redemption for God's people. I'm still in a Sunday school lesson, but DJ Khaled say, all I do is win. And young people, we switch that up and we say, all we do is win no matter what. I got Jesus on my mind. I never give him up. When I come into his presence, my hands go up. And all I do is win. Ecclesiastes to say, rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. And let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. And walk in the ways of thy heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things God will bring until judgment. Young people say only God can judge me. So therefore remove all sorrow from your heart. And put away all that evil flesh. For childhood youth is just for a spare time. You grow up to be young adults. So young people, I want you to say a small intimate prayer to God. As we say a corporate prayer, I want you to pray for somebody that's not here, that wanted to be here. I want you to pray for that friend that don't have food and their mother just got cut off of food stamps. Because see, kids know stuff that we don't know. Pray for that child that's going through something in the home and pray for that teacher. Adults, we're not always right. We always provoking our kids to anger. Ouch. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, our Father in heaven, we thank you on today. We thank you, Lord God, for the visitation of your spirit. And right now we ask that you would move anything out of our hearts and minds that's not like you on today. Father God, as we look to the hills from which cometh our help, we know our help comes from you, Lord God, and we thank you for this moment, for this time. We ask, Lord God, that you be in the midst of your people, Lord God, and meet every need at the altar. Father God, if I wasn't sick, I wouldn't have known you as a healer. If I wasn't hungry, I wouldn't have known you as a provider. And God, I thank you, Lord God. Lord, for we know the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. And we thank you for everything and everybody, Lord God. 
We thank you on today for this day that's set aside for our young people. We thank you, Lord God, for this day that's set aside for our youth, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you would bless them even right now, Father God. For you said out of the mouth of babes, Lord God, and we thank you for our babes in Christ on today. As adults, we're still babes in Christ, but we thank you for your word on today, Father God. We thank you for your word that never comes back void, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, you continuously say that if you be lifted up from the earth, that you'll draw all men unto you, Father, and draw us near today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we come with our hands lifted up to you, Lord God, we come surrendering all unto you, Father God. Give us a new mindset, Lord God, a new way of walking, a new way of talking, a new way of living, Lord God, and we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Father God, that our steps are ordered, Father God, and order our steps on today, Father God, as we travel these highways and byways. We thank you for keeping us accident proof, rob proof, bullet proof in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you use us as a vessel for our young people, that our young people may see your word through the lifestyle that we live in the mighty name of Jesus. Help them to know that they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them on today, Father God, and that they're able to come out of the closet of prayer today, Lord God, and they can seek your face, Lord God. Help those that are suffering from identity crisis, Lord God. Let them know, Father God, that they're the head and not the tail, Father God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for those children, Lord God, that are uh, that, 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 that are stuttering and that are hungry, Lord God, for your word, but Lord God, because of the way the world is set up, their minds are gone, and we ask for a transformed mind for your young people on today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, have your way in this place as your anointing, Lord God, saturates the atmosphere. We bring peace in this place. We bring joy in this place, and we thank you for order on today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for our pastor, Lord God. Bless the angel of this house, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, help him to continue to teach and teach and teach and teach and teach and preach your word, Lord God, that we may go out of here equipped, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, ready to fight this battle. And as we get ready to leave this altar, as we put on the helmet of salvation, we thank you on today for a closed mind. We thank you on today, God, for you're worthy of all the praise. You're worthy of all the glory. Have your way in these people's lives. Meet every need today. Bless every church door that opens in your name on today. Let your word go forth, God. In Jesus' name, grant anything we fail to ask. In Jesus' name, come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Oh, give thanks to 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, if you love the name, just call his name. Jesus is indeed the one. Jesus, Jesus. We call you. Son of the living God, and your name is, if there's a witness in the house, lift your hands and say, heal, 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 heal. Did he do it for you? Heal. Any witnesses in the house that he's a... Not the doctor or the medicine, say. How about this? Say it if it's true. Savior, Savior, Savior. You are a... You've been all that and more. No goodness of my own, but your name is... You don't have to say it real loud, but lift your hands and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. For everything you've done. We say, thank you makes room for more, Jesus. Just the voices, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's stay right here. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Jesus, nobody like you. Nobody can heal like you can. Nobody can save like you can. Nobody can deliver like you can. No one can make ways like you can. Say it just one last time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's keep giving God some praise for he is worthy. How many of you know if it had not been for the Lord on your side? I really don't know how I would have made it. Give these young people another hand and thank God for their gift. They are a gift to us because the Bible says, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have I ordained praise. And thank God anything else could be coming out of their mouth. But they have praise coming from their lips and we are grateful for them. I just stand in awe of God, how he can use anybody if we just avail ourselves to him and as we share in the blessings of the Lord. Thank you, Minister Aaron, for being our worship leader on today. Amen. Reverend Allen, thank God for how you allow the Lord to use you. You never have to apologize as long as the Lord is using us. And we are doing it out of a sincere spirit and the right spirit. Amen. To all of our other preachers that are here sharing, all of you that have come to this sacred space to lift up the name of our God. For he is truly worthy to be praised. Chapter 24 of the book of Joshua. Joshua 24, some of you are familiar with this passage. If you can stand, it's on the screen. It reads like this from the Christian Standard Bible. Therefore, fear the Lord and worship him in sincerity and truth. Get rid of the gods of your ancestors. Get rid of the gods your ancestors worship beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and worship the Lord. But if it doesn't please you to worship the Lord, if it doesn't, choose for yourself today the one you will worship. The gods of your fathers worship beyond the Euphrates River or the God of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. I want to share from this thought today, cast your vote. Cast your vote. With the tension surrounding the times we're in, there are some people who are in an uproar because you feel like your vote didn't count because the one you voted for did not win. You feel like we're in a place of doom because it seems like the things that were beneficial to us from another space and place in life, they'll be taken away from us. Some of us feel like are in a state of bewilderment, confusion, because seemingly life is about to change. And we're upnerved because who's gonna sit in the White House? So because of this tension, this seemingly unspoken thing, 
people are feeling, people are going through. I thought as I asked the Lord what to say on today, it would be fitting as he placed this in my heart to tell those who are believers or who desire to be a believer that even though your vote may not have counted in the presidential election, it's time for you to reassess yourself to see who you're really depending on. And so therefore, I don't want to hold you too long, but I just want to remind you to cast your vote. And as I begin to look at this particular text, I have to tell you that what's going on here is as Joshua, you all, as he's about to go off the scene. How many of you know one day we got to go off the scene? I don't know when, I don't know where, but as he's drawing nigh to the time of his departure. He is urging the believers that he helped lead out of the wilderness to the promised land to continue to keep their hope in the Lord. Because what was happening in society, they were so fixated on what everybody else was doing. Because they live in a polytheistic society. Polytheism means that you serve a pantheon of God, multiple gods, and they wanted their God, Yahweh, to be one of the gods they served. And so he said, you understand that it can't be like that. Because the commandments say that you should serve God and serve him only. You should have no other gods before me. I'm not equal with no other gods. We don't have the same power. I wish somebody understand. We don't have the same name. We don't have the prestige. I am God and I am God alone. And you need to serve the God you said you're in relationship with. He said, because I am a jealous God. I wish somebody understand. Because I am jealous, hey, Oprah, not that he's jealous of you, amen. He said, I'm a jealous of God because when I think about what I've done for you and you turn your back on me and you want me to be just like everybody else, it can't be like that. I wish somebody understand. And so they wanted to be like everybody else. But, but Joshua, before he goes off the scene, he urges them to continue their focus, continue to be connected with their God. See, when I tell you today to cast your vote, see, you have to understand a few things. Most of us understand that an election is when you select, watch this, a person from a pool of people or one that's running against another. That's an election. And an election is important in a democracy because a democracy suggests, I dick and chuck, that it's a government by the people, that the people run the government or the elected officials that they choose will represent them well. And so in an election, only one person can win. It may not be your candidate. It may not be the one you think is qualified. But in an election, only one person wins. Because it's based on, y'all listen to me, the majority vote. That's in a democracy. But in a theocracy, amen, somebody. A theocracy is not governed by the people. A theocracy is governed by God. I wish somebody understand. It, it, it's governed by God and he is recognized as the supreme ruler. He is recognized as the sovereign God. He is recognized as the great creator. He is recognized as the great I am. He is in control. Y'all better stay with me. Amen. So it, it's not about a, an election. Watch this. In a theocracy. Because God ain't running against nobody. It's all about a selection. Somebody missing what I'm saying. 
It's all about a selection. I know an election causes us to select, but that's because he's running against somebody else or she's running against somebody else. But in a theocracy, a man is not about an election, but it's about a selection. And in a theocracy, it don't need a majority vote. It needs a minority vote. Amen. And somebody say, what is the minority vote? You are the minority vote. It only needs one vote. It don't need a majority vote. It only needs one vote. And it's coming by you. Amen, somebody. And so therefore, because it's dependent on a minority vote, you've got to look at yourself and say that I'm going to make a selection even though the election did not turn out the way that I wanted to because some of you are running around here dejected. Amen, somebody. Some of you are running around here dejected. You're depressed. You have a low spirit because you think this man in the White House has all power. The last time I checked, I serve a God who has all power. The Bible says that in Proverbs that the Lord holds the heart of the king in his hand and he turns it whatever way he wants. So you can look mean as hell. You can be sad as hell. It don't matter. But if you got the Lord, amen, he can turn your heart. And I just believe, amen, no matter like Reverend Mitchell said, who's in the White House, I'm going to always be all right. So I don't have to have a spirit of dejection, amen, this depressiveness. Because dejection sometimes leads to rejection, amen. Some of people are sad because they feel like their candidate, their representative was rejected. Is there anybody in the house that ever felt rejected, amen? You weren't qualified people said you couldn't make it but thank God, thank God the Lord was on my side and the Bible said if God be for me who then can be against me man might reject you but how many of you know God has not rejected me, thank God for a theocracy even though I'm rejected in a democracy, thank God he accepts me the way that I am so don't be so concerned with what's going on or what the turnout of the election was in this democratic society. But what about in the theocratic society? As believers, we should walk with our head up. We should walk by faith. We should not walk around dejected feeling rejected amen because we serve a god that is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than i could ask or think according to the power that worketh within us deacon mcgee this morning in the sunday school lesson we learned how god could use your enemy to bless you see you don't know which way the lord is going to turn the heart of the king to be a blessing if you only believe that god is able to turn the hell hounds into some puppy dogs and is there anybody in the house know that the door can change the situation so I don't want you to be dejected I don't want you to feel rejected just because your representative was not elected but let me tell you to cast your vote as we look at this text as Joshua is about to go off the scene encouraging people to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. See, our mind should be on heavenly things. That's why I thank you, Holy Spirit, for dropping the scripture like it was hot. In Colossians 3 and 1, it says, set your affections on things above and not on things of this earth amen but before casting your vote i want you to look at a few of the candidates candidates characteristics bible said whenever we are looking at a candidate the first thing you got to do is look at their track record amen somebody you got to look at the candidates track record and joshua is encouraging these people to look at the track record. 
He said, who are you going to serve? The gods of those on the other side. Or the gods of the one you're in the land right now. Or the God of your father. Just in case you forgot, let's look at some of his track record. He said, don't you know, this is what the Lord says in verse number two. The God says long ago, your ancestors, including Terah, the father of Abraham, live beyond the Euphrates and worship other gods. Verse three says, but I took your father from the region beyond the Euphrates, led him throughout the land of Canaan and multiplied his descendants. I gave him Isaac and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. I gave the hill country of Sir to Esau as a possession, but Jacob and his sons went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron plagued by Egypt. By what I did there. And afterwards I brought them out. When I brought your fathers out of Egypt. You reached the Red Sea. The Egyptians pursued your fathers with chariots and horsemen. As far as the Red Sea. Your fathers cried out to the Lord. So he put darkness between you and the Egyptians. And brought the sea over them engulfing them your eyes saw what i did to egypt and after that you lived in the wilderness a long time later i brought you out to the land of the amorites who live beyond the jordan they fought against you but i handed them over to you you possess their land I annihilated them before you. He's just giving them his track record. I know he's talking about Egypt, but is there anybody in the house that can look back over your life and you can see how far the Lord has brought you? Has he been a bridge over troubled waters? Has he been a doctor in a sick room? Has he made a way out of no way? Is there anybody here that know it's personal now? It's not about the one sitting next to you. Is there anybody here? I heard you, Jennifer, when you said you got shot at six times. There's nobody else's testimony but your testimony. But I just believe that everybody in here, you got a testimony when you look back over your life and see how far the Lord has brought you you haven't always been as good as you think you are you haven't always done what you should have done but in spite of it all God still been good to me anybody can look at your candidates track record and because he got a good track record the next thing you gotta look at is that he is a truthful God how many of you know you're tired of people lying but I need my candidate to be truthful and I'm so glad that my candidate is truthful for the Bible said that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent so glad that he He's truthful. Ain't he all right? The Bible said that he is the way, the truth, and the light. Say yes. Ain't he all right? He's truthful. Yes, he is. Ain't he truthful? And because he got a good track record, and because he's truthful, the last thing I want to tell you about my candidate, he's truthful. Trustworthy. Is there anybody here that know you can depend on the Lord? Oh, yes, I will trust in the Lord until I die. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Ain't he all right? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, y'all. I didn't get happy because you don't know. 
know, like I know how good he's been to me. Oh, yes. And I know some of y'all wondering about his platform. Some of y'all always wondering what the candidate's platform is. But let me give you a few things on his platform. When you're talking about health care, he got health care on his platform. The Bible said in James 5 and 14, is any sick among you? Let them call on the elders of the church and pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save those who are sick. Ain't God all right? That's health care. What about economics? The economy is on its platform. The last time I checked, Psalms 27 said the earth is. The earth is the Lord and the food is thereof. And they that dwell therein. Haggai 2 and 8 and 9 says it like this. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. Declares the Lord. Oh, yes. It belongs to me. I will take care of the economy. Somebody said safety is on the platform. The Bible said in Psalm 46, God is a very present help in the time of trouble. Won't he be your help? Oh, yes. Affordable housing uh, is on this platform. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, Psalm 91 uh, says it like this. Uh, he is our refuge uh, and our fortress. Uh, he's my cover. Uh, he's my shelter. Uh, he's my house. Uh, the class, the Lord uh, of hosts. Uh, prescription medicine uh, is on his platform. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, Proverbs uh, 3, 7 and 8 uh, says do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be like good medicine, healing to the wounds and easing to the pains. Social security is on its platform, but it's not social. Social security is eternal. Eternal security. The Bible said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life and I'm so glad that I gave my life to the Lord yeah yeah but I got one more dealing with eternal eternal security Romans 8 verse 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, like elections or a president, nothing things, nothing, nothing, nothing to come, no height, no death, no creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God oh yes which is through Christ Jesus so before I tell you the representative the campaign main the campaign manager for the Lord Joshua he makes a strong declaration he said I don't know about you I don't know about you and you I don't know about you and you but as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Anybody here made up in your mind? Look at your neighbor. Say, oh, neighbor, are you ready to vote? Are you ready to cast your ballot? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. 
to vote for the Lord. Oh, yeah. Slap your neighbor. A high five. I don't know about you. It does not matter who's in the White House. I just know who's in my house. He's a healer. He's a way maker. Ain't he all right? Yeah, yeah. Ain't he all right? I got joy. I got joy. Slap your name. Say, cast your vote. Cast your vote. Cast your vote. I'm on the lowest side. I'm running for Jesus. And I'm not tired yet. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't he all right? <laughs> Ain't he all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, y'all. I got joy. Joy. I wanted to give up. I wanted to throw in a tie. But I'm so glad that the Holy Ghost revived my soul. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't, 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 won't he do it? Oh, yeah. You can sit there. And look all stiff face. But is there anybody know? God has been good to me. God has made a way. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Should have been dead in your grave. But he made a way. Yeah. Slap your name. Say, I know. I know who got my vote. See, y'all got it all messed up. See, when your candidate wins, there's an after party. And because you know your candidate has already won, there ought to be a celebration. Because no matter what happens, I already won. I already win. Father God, we thank you for the privilege of being reminded who to vote for. No matter what happens in this world, we have our president. We have our king of kings. We have our Lord of lords. And we thank you right now for being the great I am, for being our provider, for being our protector, Thank you for your track record. Thank you for being truthful. Thank you for being trustworthy. Bless us right now. Those who have not decided, we pray they'll make the decision today to be on the Lord's side. Be with us and keep us, oh God, is our prayer. If there's someone who doesn't know you, and the pardon of their sin, if there's someone that needs to renew their relationship, we ask, Father, that spirit of dejection, depression that is trying to seep in in the minds and hearts of your people. We bind it right now. We rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that we will be all right because you are the great I am. Touch right now, God. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for those who tuned in.
by way of Facebook, those who will watch us on the YouTube channel. We pray something was said to inspire you not to worry about the outcome of this election. But if you haven't made Yahweh, Jehovah, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, your selection, make him your selection today. If you want to get to know him, if you want to grow in him, we desire you to become a member of this family of faith so you can grow in your relationship. If you're out of town and you need a church recommendation in the area you are, write us, call us, Facebook us, so we can give you a church of your choice. Thank you for those who dub us as your Facebook church, those who send your gifts. We appreciate you, those who are convalescent, those who are at home, all those caregivers, those in prison, our young people. We want you to know we have you on our mind. And remember, as you go throughout these days, the rest of these days, these next years, don't let the day make the difference in you, but you make the difference in the day. Let's put our hands together. There may be somebody in this house as we stand. This is where you want to grow. This is where you want to be all and become all that.